Hi again then guys and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today and this time it's for the Mazda RX-7 touring car. This is a Polyphony Digital original, one of the touring cars on the game that is not actually real. So you want your racing soft tyres. For suspension we've got the ride height on 60 front and rear. Springs we've rounded off to 13 and 14. Dampers and anti-roll to 4. Camber on 2.5 neutral toe as usual for the gearbox you want an auto setting of 230 then we've got first gear on 2.9 second third fourth and fifth all the way to the left sixth on 0.625 with a final drive of 4.1 for the diff we've got the lowest initial torque as usual to reduce wheel spin off the line high acceleration and low braking you want both of your power upgrades of course and your downforce set as low as possible Traction control is, of course, turned off, as usual. And so this is one of the quicker RX-7 models, actually. Uh, a lot of the RX-7s aren't that great for top speed, even the, uh, the racing versions. The road versions are pretty good, actually, for their power, but the racing versions and the drift versions, they're not that great, to be honest. They're, they're significantly slower than you'd think in general, for their power but this one is an exception to that it actually has a pretty decent top speed for its power the top speed is over 220 under its own power which is pretty decent all things considered considering that it's not the most powerful rx7 in the game but is still one of the quicker racing spec versions now as far as draft potential as you can see, you have got some. Now, as with a lot of my racing tunes, this is more of a top speed tune for the car on its own, for tracks where you need that kind of speed. If you do plan on using it for high speed drafting, which I don't think many people will, but if you do, obviously you'll want to extend the final drive to make it a bit longer. And that will, of course, give you more draft potential, but it will also affect your cruising speed of course handling wise well it's a touring car so obviously the handling is good there's plenty of grip it's easy to drive and the price is pretty good on this model as well as with most of the polyphony original touring cars they're a lot cheaper than the mainstream models they're just not as cool because there's kind of that nagging feeling that they're not real which I don't know, maybe that doesn't bother you. Personally, I don't like that so much. It feels like kind of a cop-out, just making up a car. But I guess there's some cool things about it. So for those of you who do use this top speed tune for the RX-7, obviously I hope you find it helpful and competitive. And if you're new to the channel and found this helpful or interesting, feel free to subscribe. I put out new top speed tunes like this and far faster than this every day. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you. 